It is hard enough to find an error in your code when you are looking for it. It is even harder when you assume that your code is error free. Hello friends, welcome to Pack Coding. I hope all of you are doing well. In this video, we will discuss about a question that is asking for conversion of any base to decimal. Decimal. That's I have a number one zero one six in octal, and we have to convert it in decimal. So what we will do? We will simply start dividing it by ten. One not one six and by ten. Remainder one by ten. Remainder zero and by 10 remainder is 1 now we will multiply it with increasing power of the 8 8 to the power 2 8 to the power 3 and then add all of them what it will be it will be 6 plus it will be 8 plus it will be 0 and it will be uh, 64 into 8 and uh, it will be the 5 one second 512 and it will be 14 plus 512 and in decimal it will be 526 yes. It is the simple technique to convert any decimal to uh, sorry not any decimal any base to decimal okay so let's code this thing yeah i am initializing two things one is answer equal to zero and power equal to 1 and while why I am initializing power with 1 because the any power to uh, means 0 power to any number is always 1 then so we will always start the power with 1 and then we keep multiplying that base in this case I am divide uh, multiplying it a, with 8 for upgrading the power okay so while n is greater than 0 we have to take a digit which is the remainder which will be n modulo 10 and we have to upgrade the answer with answer plus equal to digit into power we have to now upgrade the power power will be upgraded with power in into equal to the base okay and then upgrade the value of n and will be n divided by 10 and now we will return our answer return answer okay let's run this code okay it has been accepted now let's submit it okay it is showing that correct answer it is working fine for the all test cases okay it is that it uh, it was that it is working but to uh, let's take an insight that why it is working so why these two things are equal one in oct uh, octal base and one in decimal base our answer was 5 1 uh, I think I have forgot the answer let me recall yeah the, it was 5 to 6 okay then what does it mean that add unit digit number means 
there is a six means here six group of eight to the power zero let's say i have some number of matchsticks some number i don't know how many and but they can be represented as like this six bundle of eight to the power zero and one bundle of eight to the power one and zero bundle of eight to the power two and one bundle of eight to the power three like this there are six match sticks there are here is the one bundle one two three four five six seven eight there is one bundle here are zero bundle there are three uh one bundle of how many thing eight to the power three means these are the entities eight entities bound together and then these groups are bound together in a box in this box how many these bundle are these bundle are eight so it will become eight square for the number of the majestics then again there is a larger box inside which there are eight to boxes of this eight square eight square how many times eight times eight times so it will become eight to the power three and there is one only one such large box okay so it means that here is only one bundle of eight to the power three majestics whatever will be the number of majestics in this setting format it will be equal to what it will be equal to this setting format means here are 1 2 3 4 5 6 this 6 match sticks then 2 bundle of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 these 2 bundles means it was 6 into 10 to the power 0 plus 6 into 10 to the power 1 plus 5 into uh, sorry it was not 6 it was 2 and 10 to the power 2 now here are five bundle but what type here is a box large box inside which these bundles are kept 10 these bundles means 10 10 10 10 10 10 up to 10 times means 10 these bundle are kept so the number of majestic will become 10 square and how many boxes of this such type so here are five boxes and what does it mean it means that the number of majestics here is equal to the number of majestics here there is only difference in bundling the number of majestics in in one bundle or number of the bundles in one box and number of box in the another greater box only this is difference but if we unbound all these majestics then the number of majestics here will be always equal to the number of majestics here okay so i hope all of you have understood this concept and enjoyed the video if yes then please hit the like button and please do subscribe our channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon because when you have hit the bell icon you will get a notification when our next video will be uploaded and you will be able to upgrade your knowledge without any delay okay thank you bye bye take care keep coding happy coding